Okay. Hello, what's going on YouTube? I'm your guy Jay, and you are tuned into the J Song. I'm back for a review this time of Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Again, this is a collector's edition on Blu-ray that was released in 2012 that features tons of special features, including audio commentary with the director, commentary with actor Tom Atkins, the making of Halloween 3, um, shooting locations of Halloween 3, photo gallery, TV spots, radio spots, theatrical trailer, teaser trailer. Okay, so Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, which was originally intended to be an anthology series. Halloween 2 was originally going to be the end of Michael Myers. But this film actually bombed terribly at the box office, so Michael Myers was brought back like six years later in Halloween 4, The Return of Michael Myers. So Season of the Witch, I actually enjoy this movie. It has nothing to do with Michael Myers, but I just love the characters, I love the music, the plot, the theme. So Halloween 3 is about this wealth, wealthy, wealthy factory owner named Conald Cochran. He runs a fac, uh, factory called Shamrock. Shamrock novelties. They make Halloween masks, a jack o' lantern, a witch, and a skull. And he's an evil man. His plan is to murder millions of children across the world on Halloween night through these masks, which have been tampered with. Same. The film opens up with we see a man who is later identified as. Mr. Grimbridge, I think his first name was Harry, and he's running and running, he's being chased by some men in suits, you see them throughout the movie, and then he stumbles upon a junkyard, which is owned by a man, <laughs> I forget his name, I don't know if he's identified, but he takes him to the hospital, to the hospital, we then meet a man who is coming home to his wife named Dr. Daniel Chalice, who stopped by to visit his two children, his ex-wife, played by Nancy Stevens, who also played Annie Brackett in Halloween 1 and 2. This time she's playing the ex-wife of Daniel Chalice. He has two kids. He's brought them some cheap looking masks, and the kids are very disappointed. He's like, the kids are like, Mom already got his mask. Silver Shamrock, look. And they have this thing, Silver Shamrock theme, which is a pretty catchy thing that's played about 20 times throughout the movie. And the first one is, Eight more days to Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Eight more days to Halloween, Silver Shamrock. And they watch the commercial on TV. The mother and her informs them to turn that down. So Dr. Daniel Chalice receives a page. In the hospital, and that's where he goes to check on Mr. Grimmage, who's been brought in, who is acting very strangely. The doctors think he's on drugs. He informs them that they're gonna kill us. All of us. All of us. And he's hanging on to the mat, so a short while later, he is murdered by one of the mysterious men in suits. His skull, his nose is crushed, and his nose is pulled up. So the nurse, Agnes, walks up on him after he's committed the murder, and she says, What are you doing in here? And then she screams at the sight of uh, Mr. Grimberich's dead body. And so Dr. Daniel Chalice comes to the rescue, and she's like, A man, uh, my, 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 my man, just, just a man, uh, he, uh, uh. So he, ch she chase, he chases after her. He goes in this car, pours some gasoline on himself, and kills himself. Now this must be very crazy to the doctor. So now we're under investigation. The next day, we meet a young woman by the name of Ellie Grimbridge, who's coming to see her father. And she wants to know what happened. The police don't know. They think it's about a crazy man on drugs. 
So though, and this film goes by a timeline. I think the first night is the 23rd, and then it's like we see the 27th, the 29th, and the 30th, the 31st, and it goes on throughout the film. So Ellie meets, meets Dan, Dr. Daniel Chalice in a bar, because he's an alcoholic, so he frequently drinks and sits in a bar. And she approaches him. Hi, my name's Ellie Grimbridge. I know. Dr. Dan Chalice. I know. One of the nurses told me I could find you here. I saw you at the funeral. Thank you. I'm sorry about your father. Did my father say anything to you the night he died? Yeah. Uh, he said, tell Ellie I love her. Bad liar. Thanks. No, wait a second. I saw something that night. I mean, your father, he came into the hospital and I thought it was crazy out of his mind. He's hanging on to a Halloween mask. He wouldn't let it go. And what he said was, they're going to kill us all. And a little while he was dead. And I don't know what the hell is going on. So that the, so this review won't be too much long. They get together and travel to Santa Mira. Daniel's supposed to have the kids for Halloween weekend, but that's not going to happen because they're going to Santa America, Santa Mara, and where the heck is it? In California. I forget the town that escapes me at the moment. So they travel there and they get a hotel room. It's a small company town. They have cameras everywhere. They're heavily under surveillance. <sighs> and so... I don't know, I get so lazy when I get to the middle of this movie to go to the whole movie. But we will move on. The film stars Tom Atkins, Stacey Nelkin, and Dan O. Hurley. I think that's how they write. Again, music is by John Carpenter and Alec Paul Rath. He's a brilliant score. This time it is released by Universal Pictures as well as Halloween 2. Halloween 1 was released independently. So you know Universal Studios is a big company. The film was released on October 22nd, 1982. Let's see who else we have in the cast. So we have Tom Atkins as Daniel Chala, Stacey Nelkin as Ellie Grimbridge, Dan O'Hurley as Connell Cochran, Michael Curry as Raffle T, Ralph Strait as Buddy Kupfer, Jaden Barber. Jaden Barber as Betty Cutfer, Brad Scatcher as Buddy Cutfer Jr. We have Brand Stevens as Mar. Her name is Marge Gutman. She runs a factory. She's very upset because she her four year old threw the thing up against the wall. Granted, the trademark she didn't come right off, so she has to get a replacement, which she has ended up being killed in a very gruesome way. I would rent the movie if you haven't seen it. Nancy Keys, I guess she became married. She's no longer Nancy Loomis. As Linda Chalice, Dan's ex-wife. We have Mady Norman as Nurse Agnes. And Dick Warlock, I believe, who played Michael Myers in Holmes 1 and 2 as an assassin android. So yeah, these guys are like robot androids, you know. They don't talk, they're very mysterious, dressed in suits. They have green blood. So I should note, by the end of the film, Ellie somehow has become an android and tries to attack Daniel en route after they've... Ellie has been... So, throughout the middle of the movie, Ellie was kidnapped by this mysterious man. She was taken, and I guess... She became an android then, because I know the androids don't talk, so then Daniel breaks into the factory, he's, you know, taking hostage basically, so eventually he escapes to make this review shorter. And they find thousands of chips, and they shake them, and it blows up the factory, and then they escape in the car, and on the radio you hear, clock is ticking, hurry home kids! Happy Halloween, and Daniel's like, I gotta do something, call somebody. Ellie, you alright? 
Nelly's just sitting there. Then she attacks. <clears throat> he eventually kills her a couple of times, cutting her head off. But then he finally he has to run because he's wrecked this car. He run to the same gas station attendant that we saw Harry Grimbridge run to in the beginning. He's like, your phone, your phone, life and death. So he tries to call his ex-wife to warn her, don't let the kids watch it. And finally the station goes off, they're having technical difficulties, please stand by. Another station, another station, he's like, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, stop it! And that's how the movie ends. Which some people are probably watching this movie going, what the is that? But it's again, I really enjoy Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. As I said, Halloween 2 and 3 are my favorite movies. So I hope you enjoy this review. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next review. Again, that was Halloween 2, Season of the Witch from 1982. Alright, see you next time.